greatest defensive mind in football but couldn't stop a nosebleed, got punched in the mouth by the shortest coach in the league, had a few before the game and executed arguably the worst final drive in NFL postseason history? Well, I'm Neri Rodriguez, you're in the highlight zone, and we're going to recap Wild Card Weekend in the NFL with fresh cookies. Let's get this one out the way because everyone has daddy issues, Patriots, Bills, the rubber match between these two AFC East rivals got ugly early, and this opening drive touchdown from Josh Allen set the tone for the Bills all game long. This man had enough time to eat a whole bowl of cereal back there. Then it was Mac Jones' turn. No, I was wrong. Micah Hyde, fresh cookies, one of the best we've seen this year. My feelings are crushed. But that was just the beginning for Big Mac. How dare you make him cry? He's from Florida. You know that boy ain't right. By the third quarter, it seemed as though the Patriots defense were from Western New York the way they let them score. I mean, I've been to funerals that had more enthusiasm than this pack of bums. A few meaningless touchdowns would make their way on the board for the Pats, but dildos in the end zone appropriate for how this group played. Bills fans, this could be the end of all your pain. They get to see Patrick Mahomes next. Raiders Bengals, two other franchise also new to this winning thing. Las Vegas on the board with a field goal, but Joe Burrow will tell you it's who strikes the hardest, not who strikes first. Joey B kicking sand in little Raiders fans' faces. Later, he's rolling out and finds Tyler Boyd, Jerome Bolger and company trying to cover up the biggest skid mark of officiating this league has ever seen and says, yeah, it was a touchdown, but that didn't stop the Raiders from coming back. Derek Carr looking like Mark Sanchez in his physical appearance, marching the troops downfield in the fourth, while well, he also channeled Sanchez's energy on this throw. Cookies! Live it up, Cincy. You just won your first playoff game in over 30 years. Now you get to see Derek Henry. Steelers Chiefs, any of you kids want to see a dead body? Just kidding. Not yet, at least. Wait until the second half. Pittsburgh winning the postseason lottery, lucky to just get into the dance, and they're proving the haters wrong as they force two early turnovers on the Kansas City offense. Fresh cookies. TJ Watt in on both of those plays, and he also takes one to the crib. But that will be the pinnacle of their high because once the Chiefs scored, they got creative with their ass whooping. Travis Kelsey hauling in a touchdown grab says, let me throw one too. Kansas City smokes Big Ben into retirement and they get a rematch with Buffalo who stole their manhood earlier this season. Eagles Bucks. The Eagles had no business of being in the playoffs and showed you why early. Jalen Hurts, fresh cookies. Oh, but they found different ways to turn the ball over. How about a muff punt? But the weather in Florida was, who cares? You know you were in over your head when you got on that plane. Don't forget the great one under center. All you hopeless romantics out there betting on Gronkowski to score a touchdown these last few weeks, like my dumbass was, you got your wish. Before the Johns head home to their roast pork, Hertz wants to make sure the Bucks take every sliver of Philadelphia's soul. That's their arena football team. Brady and Tampa Bay moving on to face LA next. Speaking of the Rams, Matthew Stafford trying to win his first playoff game versus Arizona and finds Odell Beckham Jr. to kick things off. There's a sentence I never thought I'd say. The Cardinals getting down early will come back eventually, won't they? Won't they? Afraid not. Cookies. No, Kyler Murray was supposed to make a positive impact on short kids. Well, he made a positive impact on the Rams D. Fresh cookies. And don't worry all you scallywags clutching your bet slips for dear life, Cooper Cup would get a touchdown in this one, so FanDuel won't break your thumbs. Let's wrap things up, 49ers Cowboys. We left this one for last because I'm convinced in pregame both teams said, how many times can we give this game away to the other team? And did just that, Dak Prescott, fresh cookies. And this Dallas defense that was supposed to put the rest of the NFC East to shame, which really isn't that hard, was like, nah, we good. Debo, I play running back too. You better ask somebody. Samuel makes a mockery of the star. Speaking of stars, with the Niners on the road leading, you know Jimmy G was going to do everything in his power to not play like one. Just when they had the momentum, Cowboys with some cookies. Later, a false start on fourth down gets Dallas the ball back with no timeouts. 
and Lance Harbour is somewhere in heaven smiling down because the boys run a successful hook and ladder out of bounds. Few plays later, with time winding down, they abandon all logic and try to get closer with a quarterback draw and keep the clock running. Dak gets it, but with everyone standing around, no one decides to give the ball to the referee. He stumbles, and after taking a siesta to snap this ball, game is over. That call from the Cowboys to run it with 14 seconds left is literally waiting until the night before to complete your project, and I bet the ref wasn't expecting to have his fitness put on blast for the whole world to see, but here we are, and there Dallas goes. Niners advance, and they head to Lambeau for the divisional round. We'll see you back here next week for more NFL highlights. I'm Mary Rodriguez, Fresh Cookies.